Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Prison Architect. In the previous episode we have set, started to set up the shop and the first rooms for working and now we're going to continue and we're going to start on this side. And I'm first going to place some objects which are tables. So now the tables have been built and I already gave the workmen orders to do some decoration on placing uh, different floors we're going to assign the rooms and this one here is going to be a mill room and this one is going to be the library and then both rooms need a sorting desk and also the library needs bookshelves or library shelves and as you can see here in the mill room the um, sorting desk has been uh, has been placed so what will happen um, each morning bags of unsorted mail will be brought in on the delivery zone being taken here into the mail room uh, being placed on the sorting desk or on the table uh, then taken to the sorting desk a prisoner assigned to here will start to sort the mail uh, put them in mail sectors which will also be delivered and then the mail will be distributed throughout the prison to the prisoner that uh, receives the letter and this will help uh, the prisoners with their family needs you know receiving mail from their family and then for the library boxes with books as you can see here unsorted books they arrive placed on the sorting desk prisoners will be assigned to here to work in the library on the sorting desk they will sort the books place them on the bookshelves and then prisoners can take the books for reading which will help to satisfy their literacy need so if we go under logistics and under prison labor the mail room has a maximum job for 10 so we're gonna assign but as you see there's only four sorting desks so 10 prisoners in here will might be a little bit of over capacity for the library there's a maximum job of 17 But you see it needs qualified prisoners is zero and then require the foundation education program because prisoners who will work in here will need a certain level of education before they can start working in the library how do we get the prisoners to be educated for that we are going to create two new rooms which will be classrooms and the classrooms need an office desk I put in a chair for the teacher as well although it's not required and they need school desks now once these have been built uh, you see the office desk here for the teacher the um, school desk for the prisoners and each room contains 20 desks and then later on under the reports under the programs and I'm gonna show you with the uh, edit schedule later on for the classroom during uh, working hours which I still need to assign you can choose for foundation education or general education but I'm gonna first start with uh, putting up some guard taser certification classes for uh, the guards to uh, to get educated in uh, the use of the tasers and tasers are a pain in the ass if you're playing in escape mode so later on if we have prisoners uh, flowing in and we start to assign the uh, education program 
uh, the prisoners will go to the classroom with the teacher. A teacher is hired from outside. They will teach the prisoners. And the prisoners that pass can then work into the mill room. And that's the benefit of having a shop because working in the mill room uh, will give the prisoners money so they will pay more attention in class. And now for example here's now a guard taser certification class is in progress. The chief will start and you see that's a reform program session. So now the chief is teaching these officers, these guards uh, for use of tasers. And once they have completed uh, the session, the guards will move to the armory, or at least the guards that uh, that succeeded. They will start to move to the armory to collect their tasers. And you see some guards have now tasers. And eventually this process will keep going on till all the guards are taser cert certified and can carry a taser. Now we are going to build two other types of rooms that have nothing to do with working but are used for the prisoners to satisfy their needs. And two of the first type of room is going to be a chapel or also known as a multi faith prayer room. And we're going to assign two rooms, going to place objects. And each room needs an altar. A few pews. and some prayer mats. And this will give uh, spiritual guidance to the prisoners who need it. Prisoners that had spiritual guidance, they will be able to talk to other prisoners and for example prisoners that have needs or uh, have higher boiling points. For example if they um, are about to explode, <laughs> so to say, the prisoner with spill to guidance uh, will, if they are nearby, will talk to that prisoner to calm them down. So these prisoners that follow spill to guidance class have a calming effect on the prisoners around them. But that only suits for a certain period of time. And usually a lot of prisoners take courses in these classes. But more on how this actually functions will, uh, will be visible once we start to fill up the prison. And then here we have uh, four other rooms which we are going to assign as common rooms. And common rooms are basically for the prisoners to find some relaxed time. So some of the objects we are going to place into the common room are some pool tables, Some benches for the prisoners to sit on. And also we're going to um, put in a few chairs. Because common rooms can also be used by psychologists for giving uh, alcoholism uh, classes. Uh, we're gonna put up a few TVs. So prisoners who want to can watch TV in here. And there's going to be a few weight benches. And 
Let's place a few radios as well. So now we have four fully functional uh, common rooms. Um, and the uh, this will help the uh, prisoners uh, if they want to have some uh, calm, relaxed time. You know, playing some pool, waiting some... Uh, uh, lifting some weights, uh, watching, uh, listen to the, the radio, watching TV, uh, you know, just relax time while they're in prison. It's gonna be it for this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed. Give a thumbs up if you like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'm gonna see you at the next episode. Bye bye.